Hi everyone. We got a Peterson R4 dry sump pump and uh, I take it apart every year just to check all the gears. Figured uh, I'll show you what's inside for those who have never seen what's inside a, a five stage dry sump. So you got four stage scavenge, one stage uh, feed. So that's called uh, consider a five stage. So I'll loosen the four Allen keys here, remove this gear, put it aside. Don't forget the keyway. Uh, next would be to use a 5 16 12 point and you loosen these bolts on the side. They're already loose. So let's take them out. Don't lose the washers. There's washers at the end. Uh, whatever I take out, I try to keep it the same orientation, especially the gears inside. So try to, uh, try to keep that in the same order when you're putting it back in. All right, so we're gonna start with this side. So you, I tend to inspect kind of the, the gears and how the faces are wearing out by time. Um, there's these little pins here that you wanna make sure you don't drop when you take out. So I always like to take them out and put them aside. These are very small and you'll probably lose them. Now you can put your finger in here and you can start pulling out the gears one by one. These gears are starting to wear out a little bit, but I think they'll be okay for another season. Um, the gears that are on the main shaft, they have small, uh, they have these little keyways. You see these little keyways that are in there? I already took it apart, but I'll show you on the other gears. So let's do stage by stage. Forget these little pins, you don't lose them. See the gear comes out and I put them in the same order. And now you notice that when you take the gear out, there's these little keyways that fall out. I don't know if you can see them there. And there, you see those little keyways that fall out. There they are. So put those aside. There. Let's take the other gear out. And as you can see, the gear has some wear in it. See here, and in the face. I mean, it's not too bad. This is how it was last year. This happened from uh, an engine failure. Okay, so let's keep taking the gears out. And you see those keyways that I mentioned. And these fall off. See them? So I'm gonna grab it and put it aside. Or you can use a long nose plier. Put them aside. There's also these, these seals here that come out easily. So remember we talked about these little pins. Put them aside. This is the uh, pressurized side. This is the valve. So you can set this, and this only controls the highest pressure. So you can set it, let's say it reaches 100 PSI, and then it opens up. There's the shaft. There's the secondary shaft. Looks okay. And there you have it. Here's the primary shaft. The gear has somewhere. Now what I'll do is I'll grab brake cleaner and I'll clean all of these gears and make sure everything's nice and clean. But basically this is how the gears work. And there you have it. That's a 
your Peterson dry sump R4 five stage pump in pieces. Now let's put it all back together. All right guys, so I cleaned all the pieces, make sure everything is spotless, removed all the seals and cleaned inside the seals, cleaned all the gears. Now let's put it back together. There you have it, all back together. Make sure you torque these to spec. Uh, Peterson has the specs on their website. Uh, we'll have to use uh, a special torque wrench for these to torque them. Uh, make sure you put Loctite on these little Allen keys here or else they come flying off and adjust your gear to wherever your pulley is and just inspect it. Make sure it spins freely. This one spins very freely. If you can see the gear in there. There you go, all set.